You take your ugly kid to the zoo. That's a lion, sweetie. Wow, majestic. Giraffe. Highly impractical, but also cool. And sloth. <gasps> that kid is now scarred for life. This week on The Poopy Show, we learn why the sloth is the most horrifying, redundant, and moronic mistake evolution ever made. But first, let's get this out of the way. A sloth does not look like this, this, or this. This is what a sloth looks like. And I don't really understand the millennials' obsession with the animal because it should really be its predecessor, your worship, since you can only thank megasloths for your precious avocados. Because they were the only animal with a digestive system big enough to actually disperse the seeds. Yeah, most sloths used to be decent, even kind of cool, or before giants. They were still pretty slow, but at least their organs were in the right place and not completely useless. It's believed one of the smaller species shrunk down even further to avoid being any competition for the big guys. However, climate change favors the small and stupid. Haha, <laughs> good luck everybody else. I made a video on that by the way. That was the reason behind the discontinuation of the giant sloth, probably in combination with diseases and human hunters. But this guy stayed and continued to become more and more useless and pathetic with time. Since now sloths are essentially blind in daylight, exceptionally weak and stupid. You know the first thing babies do when they start moving around? It's the, hey, I wonder where my body ends and other stuff that I can eat begins. So they put their feet and arms in their mouth. Mouth. Well, grown ass sloths have been observed to mistake their limbs for tree branches and while trying to grab them end up falling. And this is an animal that spends 90% of its time in the trees. But besides falling to the death, the most common and laughable way a sloth meets its maker is while taking a dump. They do that usually once a week. I mean, it takes them 30 days to fully digest a single leaf. Eat fiber like a normal animal. And they often release up to a third of their body weight. So yeah, it's a long process and you know when your dog looks at you while pooping? It's basically saying, bro, I'm in a really vulnerable position right now and if I were to be attacked I need to know you got my back. It's the same for sloths, who for some reason need to poop on the ground. This could be avoided. Another pitiful way a sloth can die is by starving. On a full stomach. Unlike other mammals, to save energy, sloths fully rely on the environment to control the temperature. And if they get too cold, they could be eating leaves all day, but the microbes in the stomach that digest them will be dead and they will too starve to death. Additionally, some sloths will only eat leaves from the tree they were born on and I'm the one getting scolded for not liking cheese. It's easier to list how they stay alive rather than all the seemingly preventable ways they die. Which is the fact that they don't smell. I know this guy is literally housing an algae and insect metropolis on his back. And even just that face screams stinky boy. But they just don't stink. And the algae also acts as a camouflage. So unless they're on the ground pooping, they don't really attract predators. Uh, they have these two, I guess. Disgusting creature. I kind of like it. Bye.